Hi, it's David Blaze. I saw something interesting in the news today, and while it doesn't directly relate to our industry, it does relate to what's going on in the economy and how you can profit in this economy, and so I wanted to share that with you. Uh, this article came out today. It's Tuesday, August 25th, 8.45 this morning, and it said Burger King fourth quarter profit rises despite a sales drop. It said their fourth quarter profit rose despite the sales drop amid better cost management. Uh, this seems to be what's going on with a lot of businesses right now. People are uh, working very hard at being able to conserve costs so they can essentially save their way through the recession. Uh, most economists figure that this will work for a certain period of time, but ultimately consumer demand has to come back. It's got to be offset by sales. Obviously, you're not going to be able to completely save your way out of a recession, but uh, it is good and encouraging to know that you can cut costs and still be profitable even in this economy. Interesting part about the article. Fourth quarter fiscal profit rose despite a drop in sales as costs fell in the U.S. So they're paying less for their cost of goods, and as a result of that, they're able to make more money. They earned 58.9 million, 43 cents per share, compared to 50.6 million, or 37 cents a share in the same period a year earlier. So that's a substantial increase, 50.6 million up to 58.9 million, while sales decreased. Revenue fell 2.4% from 632 million to 629 million, but they made more money doing it. So fewer sales, higher profits. Uh, here's what's interesting. The profit increase came even as sales at US and Canadian restaurants open at least a year fell 4.5%, adjusted for currency uh, fluctuations because of the poor economy, more people eating at home, and promotions by competitors. But here's where they really uh, made up the difference. Burger King said it added 115 net new restaurants during the period. Now, in our industry, that's the equivalent of a large distributorship adding distributors, adding salespeople. Among salespeople, that's the equivalent of adding new accounts. Sales were down, but it was offset by the fact that they added new business. The company also said margins at its restaurant improved to 13.5% from 12.2% a year before. Very tiny number, 12.2 to 13.5, but when you're talking about profit, it makes all the difference in the world. So their adjusted 2009 profit uh, beat the analyst's forecast at $1.38 per share. Uh, therefore, everybody's real happy with them. Now, how do we apply this to our industry? Well, there are a couple of things that uh, directly relate. First of all, it's that reduced sales does not necessarily have to equal reduced profit. You can actually, at least for a short period of time, cut costs in a business that is not generating as high a volume of sales and still be profitable. Now, there does come a point of diminishing return where you really can't cut any more and remain profitable, so we do need to have consumer demand come back, but it is possible, at least short term, for reduced sales not to have a negative impact on profits and actually to be able to increase profits by getting some of the uh, dead wood out of the organization. Second, existing client sales does not equal overall sales. Nearly every promotional products business has probably noticed some cutback among some group of its existing clients. They're not spending as much as they did before. But it doesn't mean that overall sales have to be down. Existing clients may cut back, but if that can be supplemented with new clients, if that can be supplemented with new business, then it's not even necessary for the overall sales to be down, let alone profitability. Third, new business makes the difference. If you can drive new business through the door, that's going to make a tremendous difference in terms of sales. So if your existing clients are cutting back and you can offset that by bringing new clients through the door, that's going to make a tremendous difference. And ultimately, main point of this article, it's all about profits. Because even tiny percentage increases in profits directly drop to the bottom line regardless of the size of the business. So just a quick example of how it is possible to continue to increase profits even when sales are down.